हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस डिस्कस दिस क्वेश्चन ऑन द चैप्टर कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ क्वाड्रिलेटरल्स एंड दिस इज अ स्पेशल केस ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्टिंग अ क्वाड्रिलेटरल व्हेन थ्री साइड्स एंड टू इंक्लूडेड एंगल्स आर गिवन सो यू नो दैट व्हाट इज अ क्वाड्रिलेटरल सो क्वाड्रिलेटरल इज अ पॉलीगन हैविंग फोर साइड्स सो हियर आई एम मेकिंग अ रफ sketch a b c d so just notice that in this question we have to construct a quadrilateral a b c d in which a b is 4 cm so you are given the dimension of a b and a b is 4 cm b c is 5 cm so you are given given b c i am putting a tick mark here so that you can see what all is given and in which all situations we can construct a quadrilateral then cd is 4.5 cm so cd is also given that is 4.5 cm angle b is 60 degrees so this angle is given i am putting a tick mark and its measurement is 60 degrees and angle c is given angle c is given so this is 135 degrees now observe it carefully see what is given you are given three sides ab bc cd and two included angles meaning included angle between ab and bc that is angle b is given similarly included angle between bc and cd that is angle c is given so you are given three sides and two included angles now we are going to see how to construct the quadrilateral so step 1 is let us draw ab so ab is given to be 4 cm so we are going to draw a line segment ab 4 cm so using a ruler we can easily do this so this is how we mark 4 cm ab then at, at b we have to construct an angle of 60 degrees very simple so you know how to construct an angle of 60 degrees so with b as center we will draw an arc and then from here we cut another arc and this is how we get an angle of 60 degrees let us mark this point as p and this as q so when you join pq and extend it to q dash then q dash b a i am writing here q dash b a is 60 degrees so we have done this first we did ab so ab we have drawn 4 cm then we have constructed angle qba that is 60 degrees now on this it is given that bc is 5 cm so from here we are getting the clue using the ruler we are going to take the radius 5 cm see this is 5 cm okay and then with b as center on the ray which we have drawn earlier we cut an arc and this arc intersects this ray at point c what is the radius this bc bc is 5 cm here also you should men mention ab is 4 cm very important to mention the dimensions this is 60 degrees right after this we have to construct an angle of 135 degrees at the point c now you know how to construct an angle of 135 degrees let me give you a hint 
For constructing an angle of 135 degrees, we need to use either of the two methods. First, you can bisect 90 degrees and 180 degrees or you can bisect 120 degrees and 150 degrees. Easier is this one that you bisect 90 degrees and 180 degrees. You see 90 plus 180 is 270 and 270 divided by 2 is equal to 135. So let us see how to construct 135 degree at point C. See, so I have turned the page. So here with C as center, first we draw an arc. And this arc is a semicircular arc which cuts the ray BQ dash at two points. I am taking these points as R and R dash. Now we have to first construct an angle of 90 degrees. So you know how to construct an angle of 90 degrees. Simple, you can bisect 180 degrees. So with R as center and radius more than half of R, R dash. You cut an arc. With R dash as center and same radius, you cut the previous arc. And this point of intersection, we can assume at as T. Join CT. And extend it to the point T dash to make array CT dash such that angle BCT dash is 90 degrees. So this angle is 90 degrees now. See I am marking here. This is 90 degrees. On the other hand also this is 90 degrees. But at point C we have to get an angle of 135 degrees. So for that we need to look into these two points on the arc. Let this point here is M. So we will be working on the point M and R dash. How to do this? We have to bisect 90 degree and 180 degrees to get 135 degrees. See how we do this. With R dash as center, and radius more than half of m r dash. Draw an arc. With m as center and the same radius, draw another arc. And this is how when we join C with this point of intersection, let this point be n. So when we join CN and extend it to N dash, then you will get an angle of 135 degrees. Now please be careful. Here B, C, N dash. I am writing here angle B, C, N dash is 135 degrees. Sometimes, you know, because of carelessness, we make the angle on the other side without realizing that it is coming out to be an acute angle. But here, 135 degrees is an obtuse angle. So here, let me shade this so that it will be easier for you to visualize. Now see this, this shaded angle. This is 135 degrees. Angle B, C, N dash. Right? So, how much we have done? Let us recap. First, we have got AB. That is 4 cm. Then we have got angle QBA, Q dash BA. 
that is 60 degrees. After that, we got BC, that is 5 centimeter. And then at C, we have got an angle of 135 degrees. Is it okay? Now, you see that CD is given. How much is CD? CD is given to be 4.5 centimeter. So, very simple. How we are going to do? Using the ruler, we are going to measure 4.5 centimeter. And then with C as center and on the ray C and dash, we are going to cut an arc. And you tell me which what will be this point now? Yes, this point will be D. Because CD is given to be 4.5 centimeter. And then when we join AD, that completes the quadrilateral. A, B, C, D is the required quadrilateral. So here, after B, C, we got angle C. That is 135 degrees. And then we got C, D. That is 4.5 centimeter. And then we joined A, D. So this is the basic process which we have followed. For constructing the quadrilateral. Now in the examination. What you have to do. First you write down what is given. In this particular question. Write down. AB is 4 cm. BC is 5 cm. CD is 4.5 cm. Then angle B is 60 degrees. Angle C is 135 degrees. Write down given. And then write down what is required. Required is to construct quadrilateral ABCD of given dimension. After that, result. You will draw, you will construct this and then you will write the result. Required quadrilateral is A, B, C, D as constructed as per the dimension. Constructed as per the dimension. Right? So, I hope uh, this is clear. And in uh, construction question, please be careful about neatness. Labeling. Putting the arrows on the rays. Marking the angles. And then... Wherever you are drawing the arc, please mention the alphabet so that if you are using some steps, it will be easier for you to follow. Okay, I hope it is clear to you. So, practice this question. Have a nice day.